Hello guys, welcome back. Um, we're out on another adventure. Uh, today I've travelled down to Seaford uh, to meet up with Chris uh, from Sea Fishing with CJ. Uh, one of my mates, I haven't seen him for a while, quite a long time actually, so it's quite nice to get down and have a fish with him. Um, the plan tonight is to go big. So um, on my rods, I'm using a whole mackerel on one rod uh, with a red grip lead. Uh, on the second rod, I'm using a white and live bait rig, uh, which you would have seen from the previous video. Exactly the same rig, um, just with a little bit of worm on the bottom and a bigger hook at the top. Uh, I'm going to put them both out of distance and then just uh, you know see what comes along. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up a conga or you know maybe a big bass or something like that. Um, feeling a bit optimistic, you know, maybe, uh, but you know if we don't try, we're not going to know. So yeah, it's really great to get out of Chris. Uh, also, going to do a big shout out to Daniel from Plymouth. Uh, cheers for watching, mate. Uh, get off your Xbox and get out fishing. <laughs> it's a message from your old man. So yeah, um, when I come to bait up next, I'll show you what I'm doing with the baits. Um, we've got cuttlefish, squid, uh, mackerel, um, some worm baits and bits and pieces as well. Uh, so I'm going to get the rods out there and then like we say, we'll keep you updated with all what happens. Um, it's also today uh, one year uh, birthday for the Eastbourne Fishermen. So cheers to everyone who subscribed. Uh, we're near on hitting 2,500 subscribers. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider it by subscribing and clicking the bell. Right then guys, let's get going. Right then guys, so tonight I'm also going to be experimenting with one of these. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what is this? If you haven't seen one of these before, it looks like sank out of Alien. Uh, this is a cuttlefish. So we're going to be messing around with this as bait tonight. Having a play around. Um, I'm not going to send out a hole because it's actually you know, it's quite big. So what we'll do is we'll cut it up into pieces and wrap it up into cocktails and put it on some uh, panel rigs and uh, give it a go. But I said the aim tonight is to hopefully bag a conga um, and you know and see uh, how how we can do that. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this uh, cuttlefish uh, as bait. Right, so I've actually changed my mind. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use uh, one of these. So this is a uh, 8.0 mustad hook uh, on some 150 pound uh, mono. And what I'll do is I will put this on a pulley rig, a trident pulley rig, uh, and then send it out as far as I can get it. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to cut a section of my cuttlefish. As you can hear here behind me, CJ is doing his vlog. So you will see that if you head over to his channel. So I'll just cut a piece of the cuttlefish there. I'm going to cut that down there and make it nice. Cuttlefish is quite quite a rubbery sort of bait, it's quite a hard bait. Uh, what I've got, I've got some worms here as well, so I'm going to lay some worms along there like that. These have been uh, salted and oiled in a squid oil. And get my lovely bait elastic. I'm just going to whip that up a little bit. Like I said, I've never used cuttlefish as a bait before. So it should be uh, good to learn something new. So we put a little bit of elastic on there. And it's always good to try something different. So elastic's on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 8 -oh hook. Chris is coming over now to say hello. I'm actually now feeding that into the bait underneath the uh, bait elastic and round. And then I'm just going to whip that hook into place. Get in, making sure the line at the top is covered and the top of the hook point is covered as well. Chris has just re reeled in his live bait rig and he has actually managed to hook a whiting. So we're just going to flip the camera around and have a look at that in a second. I'm just going to finish off whipping up this bait. Right, so uh, here's Chris from uh, YouTube channel Sea Fishing with CJ. Uh, he just caught a whiting on his live bait rig. Yeah, so I mean the idea is that that, that should have stayed out there um, and attracted something a little bit more aggressive but unfortunately I wound it in just to see if there was any bait on there and uh, I've, I've wound in the perfect bait really I should have left it out there but it's in now so well at least we know the rigs are working yeah That's the rigs cool. working so we'll, we'll rebate that and get it back out right so Chris now knows that his live bait rig is working which is absolutely fantastic he has got a white in which is cool so um, this is the bait that I'm going out next this is my cuttlefish and lug sausagey sort of wrap so let's get it out there and see if anything happens on that. Right on boys and girls, so I just reeled into my first rig. Uh, this is my 8 with my whole mackerel. Look at that. 
I think something's definitely taken a munch out of that. It's got perfect teeth mark there. Absolutely mullered. But, you know, can't win them all. Can't win them all. He's obviously had a go, and you know, I've, I've seen a pull on the rod, but uh, you know, couldn't get it. So yeah, there, there is where the uh, the uh, bloody fish is. Uh, had a munch, but not. Unfortunately, got the hook, which is up this end. A bit gutted, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, right guys, don't know if you're going to pick that up, but I've had a couple of rattles on the right-hand side, which is the white and live bait rig. So hopefully, there's a white one on there, and maybe we'll be able to connect with something a bit bigger. But yeah, we're just uh, gonna see what happens. Absolutely lovely night down in Seaford, really calm. Slight breeze. But yeah, we'll just see what the night brings. Right, so quite a lot of people have been asking me what kind of uh, you know line I'm using on my reels. So on my reels, um, I've got two different sports. So I've got one braid spool and one mono spool, like most reels do. Uh, on my mono spool, I have 14 pound ASO hard line. Uh, which I'm finding pretty good actually. Hard skin, sorry, hard skin it's called. Um, I have it in a clear white colour, just personal preference. Um, and then I use a tapered shot leader, which is this one here, which is ASO. Um, ASO tapered shot leader, uh, which is 15 pound to 50 pound. Uh, when using this, um, quite a lot of anglers I know, and myself included, pull out the first couple of feet and then cut it, uh, and then tie the knot. It just seems to work a bit better, and you seem to get a nice better knot. Um, but recently, um, so that's that's the mono there. Um, recently, um, on the on the braid, I've also been using this tapered um, shot leader as well. But having watched a couple of other YouTube videos, and um, you know a lot of other people have been recommending me to uh, have a try with some braid shot leader. So uh, tonight I've tr I've tied up um, a braid shot leader. So this one here is the braid shot leader that I'm using, uh, which is Berkeley X5. Uh, it's in a green colour, uh, and it is 65 pound. Uh, breaking string. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to let me know what one do you prefer, uh, personally prefer. So drop drop a note in the comments below uh, on the video and let me know whether you whether you like the uh, the tapered shot leader which is here or whether you prefer the braid shot leader here. And just let me know you know what your experiences is with it. Um, as we're all anglers, you know we can share our ideas and bits and pieces around, and that's what makes you know fishing better really. So it'd be good to hear everyone else's opinion on what you think is you know your preferred method of fishing um, I do have to say I've just cast out with the braid shot leader on one rod and it does feel really nice it feels really smooth um, so yeah let me know right guys so I'm down at sea for tonight like I've said previously um, both rods have been cast out they've been out for a good hour or so um, I've had a little knocks on the white and live bait rig I'm going to leave it out there I'm not going to touch it um, because if there is a white on there and I bring it in um, you know that kind of defeats the point of having the live bait rig out there um, on the left hand rod, first bait we put out was a mackerel um, and I pulled it back in and it had a big munch mark out of it so um, we know, definitely know there's fish out there um, what I've done now is I put a cuttlefish uh, bait uh, mixed with some lug which has been uh, you know, marinated in some squid juice um, that's out there, that's out there at distance um, and I've been having quite a few rattles on that as well so we're going to leave that and hopefully let that develop and just keep our eye on that and um, you know, just enjoy the evening's fishing. Just keeping an eye on the top of the rod tip. Yeah, it's, it's giving a little bit of a rattle. I say I don't want to pull too early. You know, when you're fishing with big baits, you know, you definitely want to make sure the fish is there. You definitely want to make sure the fish is on. You know, make sure you've got some really good clear bite indication. Uh, you know, and then them give it the old heave and pull it in. But yeah, it's going to be a night where it's going to be. Yeah, hopefully. Basically, when we're fishing with big baits, we we only need one big fish. That's all we really need, really. Uh, whereas, you know, if we're fishing with small worm baits and that, you know, just pull it, pull it in, you know, right, left, right, and center. But that's not what tonight's about. Tonight's about, you know, hopefully catching a conger eel, which is, you know, on my you know, want list of fish. Um, you know, or maybe, you know, a big bass or a ray. You know, they're, they're the three species that I'm going to be, you know, hopefully gunning for, especially next year. Going to try and get out and hopefully go for the bigger species. Um, and maybe travel around a bit hopefully when these uh, coronavirus restrictions ease um, but yeah let's see what happens tonight right guys so rods are in the background behind me um, not have much luck on the live bait rig at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change both rods to these big cuttlefish and worm baits 
on the big eight O's. We're here, you know, we want a big fish. Let's try and catch one. Right on guys, so I've got both rods out. They're both fishing. Um, one rod is closer in, just a quick you know, plop out, and the other one's at distance. Both with exactly the same baits, cuttlefish and worm wraps. The one that's closer in, I'm having quite a lot of knocks on. But I've had a chat with CJ. Oh, good minute, the light's falling out and everything now. Good. <laughs> you can't write my life sometimes, it's pretty pretty clumsy. Right, so the light's just falling out of the, off, the, off the top of the tent, but don't worry, I'll fix that in a minute. So as I was saying, um, the rod that's closer in seems to be, we seem to be having quite, you know, quite a few little knocks on it. Um, I think it's whiting, just pulling at the bait, because every time we've, every time I reeled it in, there's not been nothing, there's not been nothing there. And I mean, the, the hook is an 8 hook, so, you know, if, if something's going to have it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to have a big mouth or it's going to be substantial, hopefully. But then again, I've caught whiting on 6-0s, so, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. The one that's further out hasn't had much interest, so it's, um, I, I think, I think the one that's closer in, there's a, there's a shoal of whiting just picking off that bait. Oh, yeah, so, we're just going to persist, you know, st sticking on the big baits tonight. And uh, you know, seeing if we can, you know, pull out something uh, a decent fish. I, I, I like a decent fish. You know, you can come down to the beach. We can white and bash all night. You know, it's, it's you know, it, it's all it's all right. And then you get the old dogfish or so on and so forth. But you know, now I want I want to target a fish. So we're targeting congas tonight. You know, it's just something completely different. Um, but yeah, we'll see we'll see what the night brings. The night is still young. Uh, the tide is just on the top of the top of the high. Um, and we're going to fish it out for a couple of hours down and uh, hopefully we'll be able, to, be able to bag ourselves a fish but it's a, it's a, it's a patience game tonight it's a patience game and it's knowing when to, to go for it but yeah we'll get there we'll get there right guys so we're not having much luck at the moment uh, it's pretty poor um, I've missed quite a few bites which is uh, you know, a bit of a shame um, I've changed one rod to a circle hook uh, single circle at 5.0 um, had a nice big bite and again, again nothing I couldn't connect so a bit of a shame um, I've, I'm now changing to the live bait rigs so uh, um, the hook at the bottom baited with worm and then the, the stinger hook at the top so both of the rods are going on them for the last ditch attempt um, for the last hour or so uh, and then we'll see what happens um, yeah so i um, been bringing the baits in um, they've been having bits and chunks, bits and bits taken out of them. So I don't know whether that's just a load of whiting, just keep pecking and pecking and pecking like piranhas, or whether you know it's a, you know, it's, 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 it's a bigger fish taking it and I'm missing the bite. So um, yep, just one of those evenings, I'm afraid. Um, so hopefully within the next hour or so, we might be able to pull in a fish. There's definitely a whiting on my live bait rig, so definitely know the live bait rigs work. Uh, we just need to you know try and connect with that bigger fish now. Right, guys. So here is my little fish for the evening. <laughs> so far, one white, one whiting. Uh, on the live bait rig, as you can see, the top hook there is the uh, the hook that we want to try and catch the big fish on, and then the white one is taking the the smaller. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Smaller hook under the bottom it acts like a, a live bait rig. So that white one is swimming around in the sea, and hopefully the bigger fish takes the hook. On this occasion, obviously it hasn't because I've reeled it in. So we're going to get a little bit of lug back on the uh, the bottom hook, get it cast back out, and then hopefully see if we can try and pick up anything else right guys so unfortunately that is it for the session um we didn't catch any more fish which is a bit of a pain in the backside but you know you can't win them all you can't win them all right so guys until next time i will see you soon thanks very much for watching and take care look after each other and stay safe cheers